Excellent. I have a very special video for you guys today, and the product is right here, or at least the product box. This is the Asus ROG Swift Gaming Monitor, and if there's a product out there that I've gotten a ton of requests for to do some coverage on, it is this monitor. It's actually set up right here behind me. I have a whole gaming rig set up out here in my living room so I can get the AC and do some actual gameplay. Now this monitor features not only G-Sync, but it's a 27-inch monitor, really, really fast refresh rate. It can do 144 hertz. And uh, the G-Sync means everything is going to be super smooth and it's going to synchronize your graphics card's output with the refresh rate of your monitor. And from what I've heard, it's very fantastic. Now, uh, I don't get to do a whole lot of gaming, but I do enjoy it. So today I've set this all up so I can do some hands-on gameplay for you guys, give you some of my reactions and some of my feedback and see how that goes. So I'm really excited and uh, I think, yeah, let's just get started. So one of the immediate side effects actually of getting the ROG Swift is that friends who have been really 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 wanting to try it out will just kind of materialize and start playing video games so uh steve steve's right here and uh that that's okay though um it'll give us some some to look at while i'm talking so we're gonna press on uh here he's playing some battlefield 4 and if you're wondering what uh video card he's on it's the gtx 780 ti uh now of course with geforce you need to use an nvidia graphics card and it has to be a gtx uh, 650 ti boost or better uh, in order to actually uh, use uh, G-Sync. And in fact, you actually need to have a DisplayPort connector as well. Now, as you can see here, as Steve is playing, the uh, frame rate is fluctuating. It's going from 80 to 84 to 70, uh, up and down a little bit. And uh, that's normal. But normally, if you have V-Sync on, it'll cap it to like 60 uh, frames per second, if that's what your V-Sync is set to. So G-Sync will sync up the monitor's refresh rate with the frame rate that the graphics card is able to put out. And then you end up having a nice uh, smooth frame rate, even if it bounces up and down a little bit. You're not going to see the uh, errors and glitches, such as tearing, uh, that you get if, if you don't have G-Sync. I've been kind of listening in uh, to Steve as he mumbles things to himself as he plays, and uh, he was noting that the resolution of this monitor, 2560 by 1440, uh, is, a, is a nice jump up from uh, his, uh, his 1080 monitor, uh, which is one of the great benefits of this. So that combined with the 144 Hz refresh rate uh, really makes it smooth. And just to round out the specs, we have a 350 CDM brightness, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, and 16.7 million display colors, even though this is a TN panel, which they did in order to get the one millisecond response time. It can still do 16.7 million colors because it is an actual 8-bit panel. And now we've moved on to some Star Citizen. Steve's just showing us his uh, fancy new ship. Now this is the Star Citizen dogfighting module, and uh, we have pretty much full max settings right now. The 780 Ti is giving us between 35, 40, and uh, up to about 60 frames per second. Sometimes going beyond, of course. And uh, again, with G-Sync, you don't have to worry about it, even if it's in that little middling, like, 30 to 45 frames per second range, because uh, it still keeps up. I do want to show you guys some of the controls down here in the bottom right, because they're uh, actually pretty pretty good, the way Asus has done them. Steve, you mind, uh, can, I, can I do that real quick? Steve, maybe? Can I... Can I do the controls? Mm, no. So down here in the bottom right, you have five buttons. They're actually tucked just behind the back right here. So first off, look how quickly this turns off and on. Ta-da! Off, on. There's no splash screen or anything, that's pretty sweet. Uh, above that you have the turbo key, so by pushing this button it goes from 144 Hz to uh, 120 to 60, so you can easily switch back and forth between those different modes. And uh, above that you have the Game Plus button. This is the cheaters button, so you can push this to turn on uh, crosshair or timer, so you can put a cheating crosshair in the middle of the screen. Above that, assuming I figure out how to get out of that, yeah. Uh, above that you have the exit button. Oh, I guess that would have helped just a second ago. And then above that is a little five-way knob, so you can uh, push in on that as a button uh, to bring up another menu, or you can use that to navigate around. We've now moved on to some grid two, and uh, with everything pretty much maxed out, we're seeing not quite 144 frames per second, but it is easily getting upwards of 90 to 100, and sometimes even beyond that to 120, 130, depending on what map you're on, of course. You know, Steve, I, I hate to interrupt you again, but I'd like to show the stands, uh, like height, tilt, swivel, pivot. You think you could uh, take another quick break? No, 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 not right now. Oh. 
I just, I just let me need. There's like four more races left before I progress. Asus did a really good job on the stand here. As you can see, you can easily raise or lower it. You can do uh, tilt, so you have about minus five degrees or plus 20 degrees to tilt. You can rotate it either way as well, quite easily. The ring on the bottom will actually light up, but you can turn that off as an option. And then you can also pivot. So if you wanna go from portrait to landscape, you can do that as well. Really, really nice stand, but even if you don't wanna use it, there's also a 100 millimeter vase mount on the back, so you can swap that out if you wanted to add it to a different stand or wall mount it. Steve has moved on to some chivalry now. He's enjoying the new, is this a new expansion? Uh, it's Delius uh, Warrior, and I haven't played it. It's, I wouldn't call it new, it's been out for quite a while, but I definitely want to seem like I know what I'm doing, which right now I don't. When I when I compare it to the, the VG248QE that I have at home, I, I, I love that monitor. It's super fast response time and and uh, one millisecond response time. On top of that, the 144 hertz refresh rate, which is really like the major difference for me when I'm playing a game. This is, what, it's 2560 by 1440? I mean, and 27 inches versus the 24 inch monitor that I currently own? This is amazing. It's so much faster than than uh, what any other 1440p monitor that I've ever used. But I did turn off G-Sync just to see what it was like if, as if I had a 144 hertz refresh rate monitor straight up. And I, I couldn't see the difference. And maybe that's because I'm not playing around that, that, that sweet spot of 45 FPS. And I don't know if that's just me and my eyes or not, but I, I couldn't. And I don't normally play with V-Sync on either. That's something I never do. So that, that might just be the games that I'm playing and maybe the this awesome 780 Ti that's in this, this rig. I at home have a GTX 780. So maybe it just needs to be more testing. I think, Paul, I need more, more time. So you need to play the monitor more, really, is the conclusion here? <laughs> the conclusion is I need I more need time with the monitor. Maybe like another month or so I could, I could really hone down my thoughts on this. Okay, well, th this is the end of the video. So, uh, Steve, thank you for coming and playing games at my house all day. Thank you for and, having me. And uh, can, can you thank everyone and tell them to subscribe to my channel and stuff? Yes, everybody who's watching this awesome video from this awesome gentleman that's filming me right now on Paul's Hardware, you guys should definitely subscribe and like this video because it's amazing. And he, and he served me beer. Who gets that when they get the game from a... I don't know. It's not me. Right. Actually, yes, me. You should come hang out more often. We should. All right. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Here's your... Here's your... You almost killed that guy with the ammo you threw at him. Here, take this. As it, I think the box kind of hit him in the in the shins and probably caused some damage. <laughs>